Welcome back to the weight room. Thanks for tuning in again today. It's going to be just me, no guest for this episode. And it's weird not having a guest. Been doing a lot of guest learning and really just letting letting other people share what they know, share their experience and their knowledge and I feel like I've learned a lot, gained a lot of a lot of different perspective on on a whole lot of different areas. So yeah, it's been good, but but today no guest, just me. And I don't really have too much to share, just going to be on here for a few minutes, but I don't even know. I don't know. I just kind of got on here. The mic was was open, open mic night. And I decided to to get in on that opportunity, so I'm here. And I guess really the only thing I have to say is, you know, consistency is key. It's been a big, probably the biggest theme of of the episodes since, you know, I don't know, maybe around episode twenty ish just been it's been so consistent with what everybody is saying is is that consistency and it's definitely been something I have learned picked up from so many different examples of of that consistency and it's definitely something I know to do but it's good it's good to get that reinforcement it's good to get kind of an outside perspective on actually what what that looks like you know, a message is, is so much easier to buy into or, or kind of be convinced or not even really convinced, but more just like transformed into real life whenever there's a real life example attached to that. And I've been talking to so many different people that I, I've seen those, I've seen that, that message be turned into success, into, um, you know, good things. So, Trying to apply that more in my life, the consistency, especially in fitness, since um, since last year, probably around March, maybe even February, I would say I haven't been very good. And part of that is the, you know, the quarantine situation, not going to the gym, but um, mostly that's on me. That's a uh, that's something that I definitely didn't handle to the best of my ability. I didn't respond well. I didn't do what I could do. That's something that I know I should have done. And I look back and think, you know, what if I just did something during those times? And I didn't do nothing, absolutely nothing, but I didn't do, you know, I didn't do enough. I didn't do enough to to feel good about it, you know, now. I feel like I definitely wasted a little bit of time. And it's not that it's, it's you know, it's a re- huge regret, because realistically, it's a, it's just part of the experience. It's it's a lesson learned, and it's something that I think I can I can definitely help potentially share that message with somebody else that might be on the verge of going through that same thing and say, you know, hey, this is why you should maybe not do it that way. This is what happened to me when I did it that way. So, not a completely wasted experience, but. I wish in a way that I would have stayed more active, done more during that time. But trying to be more consistent now, and I've been maybe since the beginning of the year, since January, I've been I've been better, but I haven't been I haven't been perfect. I definitely you know, I've let I've let my motivation and not the, just the discipline of doing it, um, I've let that be the driver, you know, whether I feel like it or not. And it's 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 hard, definitely, to get back into the real routine of it. It's it's a challenge, but it's something that I've I feel like I'm getting better at every single time I I go to work out. I just, uh, I do it, even if I don't feel like doing it. I just tell myself what's the next logical step to, you know, if I were to be super motivated, what would I do next? So I kind of, uh, I I pretend that I'm motivated in a way. I pretend that, you know, 
or I, I imagine that if I was motivated, how would I handle the situation? And I kind of just go through with that mindset a lot. You know, some days I am motivated, which is those are the the fun, you know, the more fun times, I guess. Other days I'm not really feeling it. But I still go in and I try to to put myself into that that mindset. Like I said, if I were motivated, what what would be the next step? You know, I, okay, I, if I were to be motivated, I would stretch right now, so I start stretching and that kind of just pushes me to the next thing, pushes me to the next thing, and all of a sudden, you know, the workout's done. I'm happy I did it. And it builds a little bit of a a routine booster. It helps me feel like, okay, next time I go in, it's not going to be as hard. It's not going to be as much of a um, of a convincing or, or something. It's just going to be, it's just going to become routine again, really. So that's been part of my, my last probably five and a half months now. And it's been um, probably been, been, been harder even than when I first started, because when I first started, I definitely had more, more motivation. I guess I'm just not to where I was. And knowing that I'm not to where I was, I feel like, okay, I just want to get back there at least. And I know what that looks like. So it's not as motivating the first time I did it, I didn't know what that felt felt like. I didn't know what it looked like, so it was motivating to get to see that. Now it's like, oh, I've I've kind of made this decision that that put my progress backwards, and now I'm just trying to get back to where I was. So it's it's very challenging, I guess, to 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 be motivated by not really accomplishing something new. I'm just trying to get back to where I started at the beginning of. You know, maybe a year and a half ago now, maybe even longer, maybe two years. So it's been a while. I'm trying to get that routine back. It's not that I don't want to do it anymore. It's not that, that it's uh, something that I don't enjoy. It's just getting back into the groove of things, I think. And, you know, I've had a good couple weeks. I've had a good, maybe not even, maybe not even that, probably about 10 days. I've been, I've been back to, just just being more being more active about being active i guess and it's mental it's uh it's definitely something that i have to put myself into the right frame of mind but that that becomes habit that becomes routine so i think it's i think it's on the right track and uh, really it's just about taking it one day at a time i'm not good at that i'm i'm somebody that wants it to be quick and want it, wants it to be you know, four months from now, six months from now. And um, I'm terrible at waiting for that that time. And, some, and I get discouraged. I get distracted. I get whatever it is to where I'm not doing it. And then in a month from now, I'm going to look back and think, oh, if I would have just stayed stayed there for, for the, that time period, you know, that last month. And that's how I felt the last couple months. But making efforts to... To pull myself out of that routine and put myself into, I guess, a more consistent routine. Because even though, like I said, it's something that I've definitely been reinforced with, it's still, it doesn't make it easier, really. It just, it makes you more aware of it. But that is about it. That's about all that's been going on, I guess. Other than just some great podcast with some great guests. If you haven't listened to the the podcast in a while or haven't checked out all of the episodes, whatever, go check them out. There's so many different interesting people that I've talked to. It's been a really interesting ride so far. So like I said, go check all the episodes out. At least go check out the title, go check out the description. And if it's something that you might enjoy, give it a chance for a few minutes and it might, you know, it might help you out the same way it's helping me out. That's about it for today. Just wanted to hop on in here for a few minutes and share what's going on with me. So if you aren't subscribed to The Weight Room, make sure you go subscribe wherever you listen to podcasts or watch them, such as YouTube. Um, Just search The Weight Room and hit subscribe. And leave us a rating and review on Apple Podcasts. That would be great. And other than that, if you want to reach out to me, you can do that on Instagram at daniel.personaltraining. 
just let me know what's going on. If you would like to come on the podcast, let me know. I'm always looking for somebody new to talk to, to share what's going on in your journey and um, learn from it and help others, you know, give that, give that advice or that experience to other people as well. So once again, at Daniel.PersonalTraining and don't forget to subscribe to The Weight Room. Other than that, though, that's it for today. And, um, you know, stay tuned for more with more guests to come. Not done with the guest. Definitely not done with the guest. That is it for today. Have a great one. I'm out.